stands and shoots. Wow. So it's okay. more like a photo shoot. Yeah. I see, Arnold. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wear in your house and take photo. You're, well, you're still very cheerful. Yeah. I mean, so so. I mean, is is that something? How are you dealing with this particular situation? Given given that that's your presumably your main really. your main line of business, right? At costume rentals. Aren't you crying, oh, Jeffrey? Definitely, we have to bring laughter and happiness to all our clients. So whether or not it's COVID, we still have to be happy. And then it hopefully just these two years la. Then uh, maybe next year it come back again, take back the money that we lost this year and last year. So Halloween's normally the big money spinner for you in a regular year. What are the other events where people tend to come to you to say, "Hey, I need this and this sort of costume"? Okay, during pre-COVID days, we have discos or organized parties uh, for the Halloween team. People will come in dressed up, and then before they dress up, they come to our office and rent the costume. Mm-hmm. And there are some dinner and dance who go in the line of Halloween, and then we decorate the entrance of the ballroom. We put coffee in, we put the nun costume, the cross. <laughs> oh, and then all okay. The <laughs> Arnold, gory and stuff. D and D, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, models who actually dress up, uh, take the gory makeup, and then take photo, photo opportunity in clubs, even run around Club Key, Orchard, and all that, take photo with them with branding. I'll, I'll have, branding it's pretty extensive. Yeah. I'll have to go to a party that you that you organize, sounds awesome. Jeff. Yeah, it sounds, it does I, I, really I, I, sound I have, awesome. I, I can tell you one thing. Some of the clients are a little bit naughty, so they want us to dress sexy nurse costume, mm-hmm. but I think, Oh, okay. So that, would, that would really attract a lot of men uh, uh, <laughs> to come and take photo with them. I can't and imagine. When they, photo, when they take photo with my models, my models would bring them to the club and ask them to spend one for one Halloween. And that's wow. where the business comes in. So that's so, a marketing so, strategy. Yes, yes. So uh, <laughs> not only for the private individuals where they have parties. Usually parties, when we talk about parties, uh, we have more than 10, then they organize party, But now two. How to have party? So no party, no costume. Okay. So so what? I mean, so how have you been? You know, surviving. How have you been bringing in a bit of revenue then for you and your staff? Uh, there's nothing much can be done, and um, and <laughs> me myself are doing some part time jobs, and then I downsize my office from a very big office about one thousand square feet to about two hundred square feet, basically just to compound the costume temporarily. So when the business is picking up, then we shift up to a bigger one because it's mm. no point where we have a big office putting a lot of costume and there's no one coming. So, so, so basically, your, 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 basically your, your business is kind of in semi-hibernation and then if there's a query or interest, then you kind of like activate temporarily? Yes, we used to have four staff, so now we have only one part-time staff. Upon inquiries, then we go to the office and then entertain them with the uh, costume. I see. So it's by it's by appointment. Yes, yeah, by appointment. It's right. not by hanging there already. It's true. Comes. It's true. Did you bother bringing in any new costumes this year, Jeffrey, to follow the trends? Because I know trends are huge, right, for Halloween. Uh, Squid Game, for example. Did you bother with any of that track suity stuff? No, not this year and not last year. No demand, so no supply. So people are still dressing up in sexy nurse outfits and Frankensteins. It's the classic uh, stuff, was, is it? That, that was pre-COVID. Okay. Um, we have a lot of innovative style like uh, Marilyn Monroe in a scary costume like Michael Jackson, like you mentioned earlier. <laughs> mm-hmm. That always then works. We have, then we have the witch. We have the most popular priest, nuns and all that, uh, but with uh, very ghostly features. Right. Are you expecting any more last-minute calls? Because we're just you know heading into Halloween, sort of two days into it. Any last-minute calls, you think? I hope so. So, okay. But, uh, Fingers crossed. All. And so of the five, what were they mainly, the costumes? Basically, they choose the popular, those skeleton costumes, ah. the popular costumes. Okay. That was the most uh, popular one. Right. Tried and tested. Okay, mm. Jeffrey, um, you know, thank you very much for talking to us and hopefully your your business and, and things will return to normal sooner rather than later. Jeff, Get thanks for us out of the coffin. Thank you, Anna and Jasmine. All the best. Jeffrey Chung is director of JCM Costume Rental.